Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Spider-Man comparison video. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most famous and probably the most intelligent, most iconic Spider-Man villain, I'd say. Maybe, I don't know, Green Goblin and of course... Doc Ock go back and forth, I think, but Doc Ock is such a cool villain and he's in the best quote unquote Spider-Man movie. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the five minifigures that I have in my collection. Unfortunately, I don't have all of them. There are some Spider-Man 2 versions that I don't have. A couple of them just have different expressions, but one of them has an actual different design, which is pretty cool. I do like the variant, but uh, I'm happy and satisfied with the one that I have here. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the figures. Here's the first Doc Ock figure that I ever had in my collection, and I think that it's really cool. I love the arms and everything. Just, it's such a cool feature. It just has so much posability, and I love them a lot. I think that they're really, really awesome. You can see how they work here. Almost all of them work the exact same, except for one, which we'll take a look at afterwards. You can take the arms off, and you put them onto this, like, axle piece there, and it's just a, such a cool little feature. I, I love it a lot. I think that this is just, it looks so cool and it looks accurate. Anyways, he's got the Ron Weasley hair from the classic Harry Potter line and it's in reddish brown, which is interesting. Uh, the figure itself, I don't know, it's it's okay. Uh, the printing here, at least on the torso, it's not really skin color. It's a little bit faded, um, but there is some pretty good detailing there. And the face print, I don't know, it doesn't really feel like him, I'd say. Um, at least with the goggles, with the green goggles, it's just, it's kind of strange, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's definitely interesting, but, uh, there's no back print or anything, so you're not missing anything. This is pretty much the figure, and the arm color here is actually different than some of the ones that we'll take a look at here in a second. But, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and let's move on. Here is the Doc Ock from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show set, and this was actually the first Spider-Man set in the Marvel Super Heroes umbrella, so... Man, when this set came out, I remember it was just so, so cool. And I personally really like his design. I'm not too big of a hater on the show. I mentioned that before, but it's really cool. And I like his arm colors here in black. I just think that it kind of stands out amongst the other Doc Ock figures. Um, but I do got to take the neck piece off because you can actually see some back printing. I didn't mention this before, but it's just the neck attachment there with the peg sticking out so that you can attach the axle onto the back, but let's take a look at the back printing. You can see the back printing there, it's got holes for arms, so I guess you could have it so that it's kind of like they just appear and like uh, open up from his back, which is pretty cool. But underneath his hair, he has a really cool facial expression. I love the printing as well on the face, it just looks super cool. I like the red goggles, and the face print just looks so cool with the goggles or, or I guess glasses flipped up. I just think it's a really cool looking figure. I love this one a lot. It's definitely really cool and it stands out amongst the others. Next we got Doc Ock in his comic book outfit. So not really one from the shows or anything, but this is him from just the comics. And I think that this is really cool looking design. I like the colors, especially the bright green and the yellow looks really, really cool. And I like that he has the lab coat on. I think that it's definitely, it's pretty interesting. It kind of makes him stand out against the other figures who are green and stuff. But it looks really cool. Um, I don't know. The legs, though, are so weak because of the colors there. It just, it fades right through. It's supposed to be white there, but it doesn't even look like white. So that's kind of weak to me. But he does have some really cool back printing there with the arms or like holes from his shirt. Uh, of like them ripping through his lab coat and uh, he just has a really cool angry expression as well which is the same expression as another figure which is next here he is this is probably the most I don't know really what to say about this figure uh, the hands I am not a fan of I don't know it just using the mixel pieces there the mi mixels one by two modified tiles it just it does not work, I think. I don't know. I get what they're going for, which you're supposed to be able to, like, like angle the arms down so that he can grab it. It's just you don't really have the rotation to be able to make it look like that. So I don't think that it works very well um, to me personally. 
Uh, I, I don't know. It's just, it's so big and so, uh, I don't know. It is a little different as well in the back. You can see that he does have a different back design there with some cone pieces and, and some studs with a hole in it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I do like that you can pose them and you can hold a minifigure. It's just, I don't know. I think that they just need a new piece for the claws so that you can attach them to a stud, but I don't know. It just, I don't think that it works really well, but he has some excellent prints. He has the same face print as the other figure. It's just the exact same sort of version, but without the lab coat on. He also has some different torso printing there when it comes to like the band where the tentacles are actually attached you could see that it's just attached at the back there this is definitely the most comic book version and I love it a lot especially those legs uh, the dual molded legs there look super super cool and uh, I don't know it's just it's a great looking figure I really like this one it's just it's so iconic and bright and bold I just this to me represents Doc Ock and from this past year, we've got the latest version of Doc Ock, and it is definitely the weakest in terms of the arm builds and everything. I kind of like the torso prints. It is, uh, it's pretty cool. And I think that his face is really expressive as well. I like the printing. I like the goggles here. They look pretty cool. And I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a good looking figure. I really like the prints on this. I think that this is probably the most detailed and just the shine and everything. It just looks super, super cool. Here is the back of the Doc Ock figure and I just think that it looks super expressive there. He just looks so sad. It's kind of something that the juniors sets seem to do with the villains is when they're caught, they have this really sad facial expression, which I think is pretty funny. Um, but the back print there is really cool. Very, very detailed, just like the front, which I think is really cool. And uh, it's actually not the same yellow. This is the darker yellow. So I think that's a little cool as well. It stands out against the other ones. And the green isn't the bright green. It's just a regular green. So I know that I don't really like that they reused a lot of the Spider-Man villains. But I think that the design for this one's pretty cool. And it's pretty unique uh, in my opinion. Before I wrap things up, I just wanted to show you what I kind of do with my Doc Ox. Because I'm fortunate enough to have enough to do this, I actually take a lot of the gray pieces there and I attach them to make his arms longer. And I just pose that around my city. It just looks really, really awesome. I don't know, it just it's something about having the arms longer than they should be it just looks so cool. And having him scaling buildings and stuff as well, I, it just it looks so cool. Just imagine these long arms like throwing Spider-Man against a building. And I actually put the newest face print on there because I think it's the most detailed and most expressive besides the Ultimate Spider-Man one, but that doesn't really go with this outfit. So it is a really cool looking figure, uh, I think, combined. And just these arms just, whew, you just pick up trucks and fling them at Spider-Man. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is every Doc Ock minifigure that I have in my collection. There's quite a good range here, I think, of figures. And I am only missing one that's really different, but I don't really think that I'm missing out too much but I do really like the figures here and I think that my personal favorite in terms of printing uh, I don't know but this one this one has to be because it's so comic book colored and accurate and I just love it a lot I think it's really cool but uh, anyways everyone let me know which one is your favorite and let me know down below what comparison you want to see me look at next like i've said before i know a lot of people are asking for dc stuff but august will be the month of dc so i'm really excited to do all that but anyways everyone i hope that you enjoyed the video and i hope that you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one